everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. I thought I would shoot a quick video talking about one of my favorite things to grow. So I love zucchini. And if you are anything like us, we try to grow a lot of zucchini because I use it so much in so many different recipes. So I thought I would make a quick video just to share some of our favorite recipes, favorite things that we do with all of the zucchini that we grow. So I will say most of these recipes are going to be best with using the zucchinis that are the smaller or medium sized whenever you pick them. But not to say that those huge baseball bat zucchini ones that you find in the garden hiding underneath the leaves, you can use those too. They just, sometimes they don't taste as good in some of the recipes, but I have found that using those, you can turn them into what's called zucchini milk and you can use them in substitution for recipes. Like I have a really good um, bread recipe that I do and I have substituted zucchini milk, which is pretty much just uh, blending up zucchini and making it into a liquid form. So I do that, I substitute the whole milk out for that and it tastes amazing. Like the kids didn't even notice, it's so funny. Um, but anyways, I will include the link for what to do with the baseball bat zucchinis just in case you have some that are hidden before you uh, have a chance to harvest them. So no list would be complete without including one of my favorites, zucchini noodles. So I love making zucchini pasta. I do this a lot. I have this for lunch, like quite frequently. Um, and it's so easy to make. I have an attachment for our KitchenAid called the Spiralizer. Um, I'll include the link down below in the comment sections, but it makes it so easy. So I really just cut a zucchini in half. I spiralize it, turn them into noodles, and then I saute the noodles. Um, on the stove for like five minutes and add some pasta sauce and maybe some meatballs and Parmesan cheese. It tastes so good and I, it's really healthy for you. I always feel really good after I eat it. So the next one I wanna talk about is Parmesan crusted fried zucchini. So this is essentially French fries. So I make a um, batter and fry the um, French fries. Um, I actually have had a recipe since making this and I put it into the air fryer instead. So it makes it a little healthier. Um, and I pull them out of the air fryer and then dip them in ketchup. I mean, any anything, and the kids love them. We love them. It tastes so good just like french fries. So there's a lot of sweet things that you can do too with zucchini. So we have a recipe for zucchini oat chocolate chip cookies. It is really, really good. The kids love making it. I actually have a video that I'll link to below of our kids making these and um, they, they're so good. And I don't feel quite as bad eating them because there's zucchini and there's oats in them, so right? Um, and then we also have a recipe for zucchini brownies too that I will include down below. So while we are talking about sweet things, I will mention zucchini bread at this point. I know everybody has heard of zucchini bread but it is so good. So the recipe I use is um, obviously zucchini, um, but I put in cinnamon chips and it makes it so good. So check out the recipe. The kids love it. It does not last long in the house when I make it. So one of the more unique things that we make with our zucchini is zucchini hash browns. In the morning, whenever we are making like scrambled eggs or anything like that, um, the kids always request these zucchini hash browns. They are so good. So you take a zucchini and you shred it and then you shred a potato also. And then you combine those two together and you make zucchini hash browns. They are so good. The kids love them, request them every day. <laughs> Another huge kid hit is zucchini pizza bites. And I love them too, okay? It's good for adults also, as well as kids. So it's really easy to make these also. I have a video actually that I'll link to of Daphne, one of our kids making these pizza bites for herself for lunch. So all you do is just take a zucchini and you chop it up and then top it with some pasta sauce, cheese, pop it in the oven, and then boom, you have zucchini pizza bites. So the last one I will talk about, and certainly not the least, this is actually probably one of my personal favorites, is zucchini grilled cheese. So it's super interesting, I know, <laughs> but you simply shred zucchini, 
Um, I have an attachment for the KitchenAid, again, that I use, make it super simple. Um, but I mean, if you don't have a KitchenAid, you can still shred it also with like a cheese grater, things like that. It just takes a little longer. So in this recipe, the zucchini is actually in replacement of the bread. So it is zucchini on the outside, and then on the inside you have cheese, and then zucchini again on the outside. And then I cook it on the stove, just like I would a grilled cheese, and then turn it over. It is so good. I'll put a picture here because seriously, it looks amazing and it tastes just as good. So that is definitely not everything that you can make with zucchini. The possibilities are endless, which is why it is one of my favorite things to grow in the garden. So if you aren't already, check out how to grow it um, with our free app from Seed to Spoon. It's available in the iOS and Android store. And if you wanted to check out more recipes, we have a bunch of recipes actually um, listed in the app as well. Um, so if you go down to Summer Squash um, and then you click on that and then up on the top, you'll click more and then recipes. So it'll pull up a huge list of a bunch of different recipes and um, things that we have done in our kitchen, things that we have made. So check it out and thanks so much for watching.